Hello it's Ali, welcome to the Scale Addiction. In today's video, we have a new engine from Sterling Kit. We're gonna unbox it and start it up. And we have all the things I need. This is a gasoline engine, not a tray engine. So you will need a gasoline and oil. And the mixing ratio is 25 to 30 ratio. So we're gonna put 25 ratio of gasoline and one ratio of engine oil. I also 3D printed a bracket so we can mount it. It comes with its exhaust. It's shaped this way so it will give us a Harley sound exactly. And I also made this connector because we will need a battery as well. And the battery voltage is 6 to 14 volts. So I'm going to use a 3S battery with this connector. We will need a drill as well because it doesn't have starter motor. So we have to start up with a drill. Let's unbox it and see what we have. Here's the engine and here's the electronics for the coil. Let's take this one out first. Here is the engine itself. I'm really amazed by the quality and it's really heavy for the size of this engine. Here is the shaft for starting up. This has one way bearing so it will turn like this and it will hold it like this so we can turn it and start up. I already feel the suction of the engine. We can see that it has spark plug not a glow plug because it's a gasoline engine not a nitro engine like i have on the supra but i think this one will be more reliable than the nitro engine i have i really like how they put a spring here because on the nitro engine i have they don't have spring so the servo has to bring it back but with this one it will go back to a neutral position here is the timing wire which will be connected with the electronic distributor also these are included in the box these are the boots for the spark plug wires so it will goes on like this and the o-rings for the exhaust and this wire i already made this wire which will be like this and the engine rpm will be around 1800 to 8000 rpm it's air cooled so we don't need any water or something else to cool the engine but it's important to read the instruction now we're gonna assemble it, put the exhaust and put it on this bracket and try to start it up. They call this engine a Harley engine just like the motorcycle but some people call it an engine because it's like a pan on the valve cover but it's nice looking engine. If you guys have any idea what kind of project we use this engine let me know. I have an idea which Sterling Kit sent me. I will put the picture here. We will do something like this. All right, let's assemble everything. I printed the base with PLA, which is not good for heat resisting. After the engine gets warm, I'm sure it will deform the plastic. But if you want to 3D print it with high quality heat resisting material, head over to PCBWay. PCBWay is offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. You just have to put the file and it will tell you the price and shipping date. PCB Ways link in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCB Ways for sponsoring this video. This video also brought to you by these Patreon members. Alright, now we are done with this. We need a fuel tank. I will borrow it from my Supra project and I will put it here temporarily so we can start up. And then we will put the spark plug wires, but I'm not sure which one for which one. And I can't find where is it. But we're gonna start it up. If it didn't start, we will change it. With the spark plug wires, we can only clean this wire and put it in. And it will insert it on the spark plug. But I wish they made it like a real car snapping on there. It will give us more creep and not gonna leak any electric. But we're gonna do it anyway. Alright, next for the fuel tank.
okay we are almost done we're gonna mix the fuel and start up here we're gonna mix the oil and the fuel it will be 1 to 30 ratio here I have one of oil and the other one will be gasoline all right we're all done we're gonna put the cable on and start up with using trail from this shaft and it will be like this The engine working really nice, I'm really happy about it and thanks to Sterling Kit for sending me this engine. Let me guys know what I should do with this engine. Should we do this project or something else? Let me know in the comment section below. I will also provide the STL file for the base and where you purchase this engine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as I did. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.